this. No idea what that would be called. And then there's pieces like that. See that? And this really cool one here that's all bumpy. And it's kind of rubbery. And then we've got these long pieces here. So we're going to take some with us and see if we can dry them out in the car and just possibly maybe munch on a couple of them um, in a couple of days and see what happens. So, coming at you from South Island of New Zealand. Ciao. Okay, so we foraged for some seaweed on the beach about two hours ago. And this was, um, we've put them in the back window of the car to dry out while we, dry, while we drove and they turned colors. They actually got darker and of course got drier and actually got really crispy. This was very pliable and kind of flimsy and now it's very kind of crispy like. And this guy really turned black. He's, I don't think that he is edible. Um, he might be but I'm not going to try it on this one. It just doesn't look very good. The first one I'm going to try is this green one. Um, it was green when we found it and it's still green after it dried and it's um, kind of reminds me of a kale chip. Let's see what it tastes like. dried spinach. It's actually really good. So I definitely think this one is probably edible. We'll see what happens to me later. And then we have this guy that was connected to bees. So he's really crispy so we'll tear a piece off here. Very salty. Really good salty taste. With this one, I would probably put it in the in like a coffee grinder, let it get even more dry, and then grind it up into into, into like a powder because it's really good. It's just kind of um, kind of chewy. And now these look like little the end of a broom or something. So I don't know how good this one's gonna be. It's really hard to tear off. It doesn't taste bad. It's salty, um, a little less salty than these, but it doesn't like break up in your mouth, so it's really hard to eat. I don't think that it would be digestible. So, these are very pretty, but I don't think they're edible. Let's see, this one, really interesting. It's got little bumps on it. Let's see what happens. This is kind of spicy really really salty I would eat that on a salad for sure so out of all these there was you know three we just foraged on the beach for just a few minutes found some seaweed put it in the back of the car and let it dry I would add these onto a salad or maybe even put them into uh, maybe a cup and pour over some hot water a really salty soup for the night or something so which I did in the airport with uh, seaweed that I bought in the store so why not forage for it on my own on the beach can't get any more fresh than that. So and I also found this little shell here which is really beautiful but it stinks and it's stinking up our car. But we're going to keep it because it's really pretty. It's going to be worth it. So there's our seafood. <laughs> Sam doesn't like that. So uh, there's just a little bit of our uh, trip uh, uh, here in New Zealand. Uh, some foraging for seaweed and we'll get back to you for more later.